All right, this one might ruffle some feathers. What a way to open up a video, right? We're here to talk about when you choose to be insecure. Does a person choose to be insecure? Does a person choose to smile? Does a person choose to be happy? Does a person choose to be angry? Does a person choose to experience whatever it is that they experience? Yeah, I'm ready to uh, <laughs> go down a rabbit hole, if you will. Okay, so first and foremost, the way that I see it is that a person's focus is either internal on themselves or external, right? When a person walks into a room, they're usually either focused on tuning into everyone else in the environment with racing thoughts, thinking about, I don't know, whatever it is that they're insecure about. Maybe they're thinking about the outfit that they've worn five days in a fucking row. Maybe, think, maybe they're thinking about their receding hairline. Maybe they're thinking about how yellow their teeth are. Maybe they're thinking about whether or not they smell. Maybe they're thinking about their teeth that they haven't brushed. Right? And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. So their focus is external. They walk into the room and they're like, oh my God, look at all these people. What are they thinking about me? And they start having all these racing thoughts, right? But instead, or I should say, on the contrary, other people, they walk into a room and their focus is very much inside of their body. They're very much so grounded, right? They're, they're, they're grounded with themselves. They feel themselves inside their body. Um, they feel safe with themselves, and that's just the way that they are, right? One of those people is secure. They feel secure within themselves, and the other person feels insecure. And it's usually pretty obvious, right? And so, recently I was having a conversation about feeling insecure versus feeling secure, and how both are a choice, right? A person chooses to feel insecure if they do feel insecure. Now, let's make this very clear. Let's go to Dr. Joe Dispenza's universe and talk about personality, right? A personality consists of how a person thinks, feels, and acts, right? What is insecurity but a mixture of thinking, feeling, and acting? What is... I mean, you know, it's the difference between security versus insecurity. So, insecurity is based on personality, which is what a person thinks, feels, and acts, right? Um, security is also based on personality, and it's based upon foundationally how a person thinks, feels, and acts, right? So, if you can choose to be insecure, then you can also choose to be secure. It's <laughs> kind of strange. I'm like saying these words back to back and it's like, which one did I say? Did I say secure? Did I say insecure? Look at me being insecure. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, but the reason that I think that this would ruffle some feathers, when I say ruffle feathers, I think about um, Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> um, just because the word ruffle, ruffalo. Anyway. Um, or what are those bags of chips called? Ruffles, right? We are ruffling, guys. We are ruffling. We are starting a flame and we're like, ooh, right? Um, so does a person choose to be insecure? It's kind of challenging to approach this because it's like, there was a point in my life when I was doing things and I wasn't really aware of my choices because there is a fucking trash truck behind me. <laughs> I'll try to be as loud as I can. Um, yes, there was a point in my life when I was doing things and I wasn't really aware of my choices because I was at a lower level of conscious awareness and that's just the way that that was. Um, 
similar, well, not, not similarly, but on the contrary, now I am at a higher level of conscious awareness and therefore with that, I am more aware of myself. I'm more aware of the fact that different things that I do, they are a conscious choice to or not to do them, to partake in them or to not partake in them, right? And that's the really cool thing with healing and becoming more aware of myself is that it's like, wow, I am actually choosing to do this. <laughs> like whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is. It's like, wow, I am actually choosing to do this. And so something that I've been really focusing on lately is letting go, but specifically letting go of lack, right? And I see insecurity as lack because a person feels insecure for many different reasons, but it's usually rooted in lack. And so it's like, well, am I choosing to be insecure? Why not? Why wouldn't I be choosing to be insecure? But if I am choosing to be insecure, why am I choosing to be insecure? Why not just choose to be secure? Do I know what it's like to be secure? I do, right? Okay, so can I take that and then put that into thinking, feeling, and behaving? I can. Let's look at the different ways that a person who is insecure would behave with other people versus a person who is secure would behave, right? A person that is insecure. Say, for instance, uh, somebody goes out to do karaoke, but they don't want to sing, right? They don't want to put that mic up to their mouth and sing their fucking heart out. <laughs> if they're being pressured to sing, right, they're usually going to, the person that's insecure, they're usually going to be like, oh, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how to do, I don't want to, do, but why, why would you go and do karaoke if you're not going to fucking sing? Let's get that out of the water. Um, or the air. Whatever it is. If you're drinking water, if you're breathing air, doing both, wonderful. Um, I don't know why somebody would choose to go out and do karaoke but not sing, right? Now, if you do and you don't choose to sing, right? If you go out to do uh, karaoke but you choose not to sing, right? And you're being pressured by the people around you. They're not your friends, by the way. Um, if they pressure you to do something you don't want to do, they're not your friends. But also ask yourself why you're doing karaoke, if you're not going to actually do karaoke. Anyway, um, somebody who's insecure is going to be like, oh, I don't know. Okay, I guess this thing is intimidating. What the fuck? I don't even know this song. Uh, what do you all think of me? Oh my God, I feel so insecure. Why did I come here? That's going to be a person who's insecure and that's probably kind of like drastic. But, um... Somebody who is secure, if they're being pressured, they're going to be like, uh, I know you guys aren't going to pressure me. I said no, period. And then if they have to leave, they'll leave. So basically, it's a difference in how a person composes themselves. But the main thing here about this entire subject is this. I believe that it is a choice to be insecure. This is what I believe will ruffle some people's feathers. Well, how is it a choice to be insecure? I mean, I don't feel like I can choose to be insecure. I feel like I just fucking came into this world and I'm fucking insecure. No, you, you weren't born insecure. You learned insecurity. And yes, I do believe that it is a choice to be insecure. Just like I believe it is a choice to be secure, right? What does it mean to be insecure? It means to be unsure of yourself. It means to not have healthy boundaries. It means to let people fucking walk all over you and to be so fucking tuned into what everyone else is thinking that you're so fucking worried with all these fucking racing ass thoughts inside your mind. Oh my God, what are these people thinking about me? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. No, that's insecurity. What does a secure person do? They're very much in their bodies. So a secure person, the difference between a secure person versus an insecure person is where their focus is. An insecure person has their focus externalized. They're tuned into everyone else and they're worried about what everyone else is thinking about them. A secure person has that focus tuned back into themselves and they're just relaxed. They're in their body. They know healthy boundaries, so they'll communicate them as necessary. Yes, no, 
No maybes. They know, right? And that's it. That's it. But I really do believe that just as it is a choice to be insecure. Yeah, I said that. I believe that it's a choice to be insecure. You're choosing to be insecure. You are. Because you're making a choice to give in to what you're uncomfortable with for other people to win their approval because you're tuned into them, right? So it's a choice. You're choosing to do that. You could also, and by the way, that's a matter of thinking, feeling, and behaving. You could also choose to be secure. All right, I'm going to bring my energy back to myself. Maybe it's challenging. I mean, I've done it, but that's not to say that it's not challenging. But um, somebody who's secure brings their energy back to themselves, right? And they're not so tuned into what everyone else is thinking and feeling. But, again, the main component here is that it is a choice. I'm choosing, if I am insecure, it's because I'm choosing to be insecure. If I am secure, it's because I'm choosing to be secure. But I do believe that it is a choice, literally just like that, right? And I think that it would probably start with stopping externalizing your focus and tuning into everyone else and instead bringing your focus and awareness and energy back to yourself and into your body, not having all these annoying ass, exa exhausting, <laughs> exhausting racing ass thoughts about what everyone else is thinking about you. Newsflash, it don't fucking matter. Um, the only thing that matters is how you can feel within yourself, right? But the difference is security versus insecurity. And a person that is insecure is consistently choosing to be insecure, just like a person who is secure is choosing to be secure. If this ruffles feathers, I will not be surprised, but I am, I'm a wholehearted believer. I 100% believe in this. Because in every single moment of life, we're reborn. We get to choose to be whoever the fuck we want to, right? I could choose to get out of my car in this cold ass fucking weather, which I'm not going to, and sing my fucking heart out. And I did, and that's fine, and I'm not insecure about that because I can, and that's wonderful. Goodbye. Have a great day.